Voila my friends, this is my second cross-country racing machine on the channel. So as you know, the previous one, Merida Big 9 Lite, uh, zero carbon, two by drivetrain, two by 10, and priced just about 1,000 euros. This one, pretty similar setup. So no carbon alloy frame set, pretty good looking bike. But this one has the two by 11 drivetrain. Welcome Rose Count Solo Model 2. The reason for this long-term test is to make also just about 2,000 kilometers or more on this bike and on the previous one, so on those two main cross-country machines on my channel, and see how much fun does this classical hardtail give you, the alloy frame and the 2 by drivetrain and the components, let's be honest, this is not even a full SLX, this is some, some mix, a nice one, but a mix, uh, so we'll see also how durable this thing is in the rain, in the mud, in the racing, in everyday training uh, and also on the turbo trainer. Let's look at the details. So the frame, it's pretty nice gray, it's kind of matte but a little bit shiny as well. Looks pretty good, very classic. Uh, in this bike we only have the front derailleur housing routed internally and uh, just at the, at the bottom of the uh, top tube we have the rear uh, brake housing and rear derailleur uh, housing uh, routed externally so very easy to replace the housings and the cables if you need to. The new Rose logo is a big R on the head tube, looks pretty good, in this case it's fluo green. In the same color as the Rose logo and the sign we also have the front derailleur housing and the housing for the lockout of the fork and a little bit of fluo on the inside surface of the chainstays. The bike's components are based on the 2x11 SLX drivetrain, but it's not a full SLX group set. From the SLX we have the front derailleur, the rear derailleur, the cassette and the shifters. The crankset is not SLX, this is the FCMT600 model, it doesn't have the hollow uh, crank arms, uh, but it looks pretty cool, it has the Dynasys 11 speed system. The brakes are the BLMT500 model. It's not Dior, it's not SLX, but this is the two finger or one finger operated lever. Very good. The front fork is the RockShox Recon RL with the one lock, so has the lockout on the handlebars and it does work pretty good. The wheels, it's also pretty classical approach. It's Mavic Crossride, so the lower model than the Crossmax and these wheels have one of my favorite tires, Schwalbe Racing Rolls. Count Solo, welcome to my bicycle pack and now let's do some training. 